Speedball's Fabric Block Printing Ink is perfect for creating beautiful prints on a range of fabrics. Today we'll be block printing a monogram onto a t-shirt. Here's what we'll be using. Speedball's Fabric Block Printing Ink, 4x6 Speedy Carve, Linoleum Cutters, Inking Plate, 4-inch Soft Rubber Brayer, and a 100% cotton t-shirt. Begin your project by first selecting your pattern. To begin, we've simply printed out the monogram we'd like to use. But you can find ideas for your design by printing an image from clip art, tracing an image from a book, or simply freehanding what you would like to print. Once you have your pattern, select the type of surface you'd like to transfer the image onto. Speedball has many surface options to choose from. For this project, we'll be using Speedball's Speedy Carve, since our pattern doesn't require a lot of fine, detailed carving. To transfer your image onto the block, you can use Mona Lisa's graphite paper. First, Place the graphite paper on the block and tape it into place to keep it from slipping while you transfer. Start by tracing over the outer edges of your pattern using either a ballpoint pen or Mona Lisa stylus. If your pattern transfers lightly, simply use a fine tip permanent marker or ballpoint pen to draw in the lines. Remember to place your image onto the graphite paper so that it is in the reverse of how you would like it to print on your project. This is an important element to remember when block printing any image but especially with numbers or letters since whatever image is on the block will print its mirror image. Once you have transferred your image, it's time to start carving. Some prefer to start with the most detailed elements first, like the outline, and then carve out to the larger sections. To block print on fabric, use Speedball's new Fabric Block Printing Ink. This ink is the only one of its kind. It allows you to block print on fabric with no heat set required. To begin, put a small amount of ink onto the inking plate and then spread it onto the plate with the brayer. Continue to roll the brayer until you get an even coating of ink on it. You will be able to tell the ink is ready for your block when you see small peaks begin to form or when you hear a slight tacky sound as the brayer passes over the ink. Next, roll the brayer across the block in both directions, trying to get a nice even coating of ink on your block. Rolling two to three thin layers on the block should ensure even coverage without over inking. Now it's time to print. It's a good idea to do a test print on paper first to make sure that you've carved away all the areas of your pattern and that you've carved deep enough into the block. Before printing on your fabric, completely re-ink the block by putting two or three thin layers of ink onto it, again, making sure you have complete coverage. Next, position the block on your project where you'd like your pattern to go, and then press the block onto the fabric. Be sure to place a nice, even amount of pressure across the block so that your pattern will print evenly. You can either hang your final project or lay it flat to dry. Unlike oil-based inks that required two to three days to dry, Speedball Fabric Block Printing ink will only need overnight, with no heat set required. It's ready for the wash four to seven days after printing, about two to three weeks faster than oil-based inks, and it will remain permanent through the wash. Once dry on the fabric, you'll notice that the fabric continues to have a nice soft hand since the ink is going into the fabric, not just sitting on top of it. Speedball's Fabric Block Printing Ink is a water washable oil, which makes cleanup easy. You'll just need soap and warm water. For more information on Speedball's Fabric Block Printing Ink, be sure to visit speedballart.com.